What's going on guys, Bills here from Achievement Land and I'm here with an Achievement Walkthrough for Chico in the Castle of Lucio. This game released onto the Xbox One June 5th, 2020 for a price of $4.99. It's a really easy completion, it only takes about 20 to 30 minutes to complete. So I'm going to run you through this game and get you all the achievements. There's 18 achievements and we just got to do some different stuff as we go through on some of the levels. There's 65 levels in total. They're uh, mostly very fast levels. There is some boss levels as well. So I'm just going to take you through the whole game. You want to pick try harder because in this mode you can actually uh, just keep playing over and over again. The classic mode you have lives once you run out you have to restart the whole game. In try harder you get one life and every time you die you just start that one level over. So you just need to get the key and then just go to the exit. We're on stage two. This is where we get our first achievement for touching the dog. So just go near it and you can pet the dog. Not really, but you get an achievement for going near it. So we're just going to run through these levels very quick. They're very short and easy. Just get the key and get out. Later on, there's a few tricky levels that you might get stuck on. There was one level I was stuck on for a bit, but it's not too bad overall. So we'll just make our way through and uh, on some of the levels we'll have achievements. So the next one that has an achievement is level 9. And on the left side you can see what stage you're on. So we're on stage 7. This level is a little annoying. Just watch out for the bullets. And make sure you wait and jump at the right time here so you don't land on the bullet. Alright, this is stage 9. This is where the next achievement is. You don't want to go out the door here. You want to jump over it. And over here is a secret. And you get an extra life and an achievement. The next achievement is on stage 12. This level is a little annoying. Um, you can use your extra life to an advantage and not waste it like I did. This part is really the hard part. You just gotta kinda jump and curve your way down. Alright, this is stage 12. There's another achievement here. You wanna go to the bottom left corner and there's a secret over there. There we go. And now you can climb up to the top right and just climb up the statue's face and go across. This level's a little annoying too. I got lucky here because I had an extra life, but you kind of want to stay in the middle and then you can go at the right time. The next achievement's on stage 20. For this one, you want to jump in the middle and then jump over and get out. Just take your time on this one. He's like Mega Man's dog. Alright, quickly run here and then go all the way and just stop and the dog will run away. Now you want to go to the right here and jump up and down. And this pickaxe guy is going to come out and drop the keys down and we'll get an achievement. Now the next part here is right before the boss. There's health. Do not get the health. Just drop down. You get an achievement for not getting it. But after you don't get it and you get the achievement, you can actually die and go back up there and get the health. Because it's uh, good to have for later on. But this is the boss here. You just have to keep pressing these buttons at the right time and shoot him. So I let it kill me so I can come back here and get the health. So now I have four health as you can see at the bottom right. And just time it right and uh, kill this guy. All the bosses are pretty much the same. They just go back and forth and you just have to hit them like this. They just have different stuff dropping down. If you could save your lives for later on, it's better. It will make some things easier. There we go. We killed him. We got the achievement. And now we can drop down. And the next achievement is on stage 28.
I just lost two health there. Damn. <laughs> this one's a little annoying. You have to get the key from this guy. You have to jump at the right time and get it off of his head. There we go. And there's the other key, the gold key. That one moves around. Once you have both keys, there's a skateboard that shows up at the top that you gotta jump on. Just be very careful. It's very easy to hit these spikes. Now this is level 28. There's an achievement on this one. You have to jump back and forth to get the keys without landing on the middle one. This one you can go on the purple blocks, but you really don't need to. Alright, this one has the next achievement. It has a warp zone. It's hidden at the top right. You need to go to the top shelf and just jump all the way to the right. Then jump up and it's going to skip to level 41. And we get an achievement. And uh, this level is a little tricky. Just be careful of this red guy and then grab both keys. Now again, don't grab the med kits just like last time and we get an achievement. And now we got to fight this next boss. So I came back up here to uh, grab the health. You're definitely going to need it for this boss. He's a little annoying. So you just have to go back and forth and try to shoot it. And uh, you have this jet pack to go back up. So you drop down, press the button, and then fly back up and then go to the other side. He starts to go faster and it gets a little hard to time. So sometimes you got to wait and then drop down at the right time. You can kind of go through him a little bit, like his arm. Just don't hit his head or his feet or you'll get hurt. Ah, oh, that was so close. It becomes a pain to hit him after a while. Come on. There we go, finally. Now he's dead, we get an achievement. Now this one we control two at the same time. So just be careful, it's a little tricky. <laughs> it's not too bad though. There we go. Now this is level 45, this is where we get part of another achievement. There's two birds we need to collect. We collect one here on this level 45, and then the other one is on 59. The next achievement's on level 55, so just go through until that stage. This level can be annoying, just take your time on it and it won't be that hard. This level can be annoying as well. I was stuck on this one for a bit the first time. You really just have to time it right when you uh, grab the jetpack icon. Now for this one, you want to hold down when you grab the jetpack thing. When you hold down, you'll go up. You get all three keys, now we can go up. This one you gotta be quick, so be careful. The next achievement is on level 55. This mushroom's gonna shrink us. Now at the start at the next level, 55, there's an achievement to the right. Just go to the right side. You'll get an extra life and an achievement. Now there's also another achievement in this level. We need to get the mushroom and become big again, and then we need to squash one of these skulls. 
So just grab the mushroom and then just let him run into you. There we go. Now the next achievement is on level 59. We need to get the other bird. This level can be a little annoying as well. We need to go over here and hit the switch at the right time to kill these lizards. So we do that for the first one, then do it again for the second one, hit the next key. Now for the third one, we need to hit it with this weight first. Drop it on its head. I missed the first time. Let's try again. There we go. Now we can zap it. And we have all the keys. Now we're going to go on the hand so we can get out of here. Now this is level 59 where we get the other bird collectible and then we'll get an achievement. It's up in the tree on the top right. So you can try to get these keys as well. Just be careful. Don't get them all first because you might leave the level accidentally. There we go. Now go on this hand and we can get out of here. Now on level 60 there's an achievement as well. All we have to do is go touch this sword guy. So just go over by him and you'll get an achievement. I ended up dying, but all we need to do is grab these keys and then exit through the top left. There we go. This level I was stuck on for a while. The first time I went through this game, I was stuck on here for like 20 minutes. Now the second time I played through, I did it the first try. <laughs> it's a little bit of a pain this level because it's so hard to jump on these things. The next achievement is on 64. That's uh, right before the boss. Once again, we're not going to grab the health and just going to drop down. And then we'll kill ourselves and go back and get the health because we're going to need it. And then this is the final boss and the end of the game. And he's just like the other bosses. You just have to hit the buttons and shoot him. He goes really fast after a while, and there's a lot of stuff to dodge, so be careful. There we go. After you hit him enough times, he'll finally die, and you'll get the achievement for killing him. Now, this is going to be a bit of a cutscene, so you just have to wait through it for a little bit. And then, after you're on this plane that's just like Sonic's, uh, you'll get the achievement for completing the game. And that right there will be your last achievement, and you'll be done with this game. So that's it guys, that's the full walkthrough for this game. It's out now for only $5, a very easy, quick, cheap game. So thanks for watching guys, I hope this helped you. Leave a like if it did, and I'll catch you next time here at Achievement Land. Yeah.